So there is an Android campaign that is actually able to target routers in order to spread the infection. And this is really, really interesting because it's using a DNS changing technique to keep this very basic. And it's targeting routers of specific vendor models as well, indicating that it's getting more and more sophisticated in creating these watering holes that perpetuate the infection. So how does this work? Well, this roaming Android loader malware variant was basically targeting devices in Korea and was targeting generally routers that have the ability to, once you log in with the default credentials, set a DNS server. Now, the DNS server will return the website for whatever query you're making. So if you're trying to go to, go to google.com and you were to visit one of these malicious routers that has been updated with a malicious DNS server, then that DNS server would go get something that maybe looks like google.com, but is trying to install all sorts of bad things on your device. If you have an iOS device, you are also not immune to this because if you were to go to one of these kind of like watering hole attacks where a router is infected, then it would instead redirect you to a phishing website that tries to steal your credentials. So this campaign has something for everyone. It, it tries to steal credentials from iOS devices. It tries to infect Android devices. And once it infects them, then it will carry that infection to other routers, which it will then infect and cause new infections in that local area. So this is really remarkable because unlike some other Android campaigns that are specifically targeting Android devices, this infection doesn't actually live and propagate on the Android device. It mostly propagates through routers that infected device encounters as it goes through the world. So this is a truly interesting idea. And I think it's very sneaky because once the router's DNS settings are changed, it'll continue to redirect people to really whatever the operators want. And what's clever is even if they're not infecting devices, they can still lead them to pages that have ads or try to steal bank account credentials or things like that, which is a great way for them to continue to make money off of this operation, even if the Android portion of it isn't going so well. On a technical level, they were using what I regret to inform you is called, at least within the context of this article, smishing. So smishing apparently is when you just send an SMS phishing attempt. It's just, are we going to call everything? Is email going to be email <laughs> Like, come on, it's just phishing. So they just do phishing via SMS. And if you open this up, then it will analyze your device and determine whether it wants to try to steal your credentials or if it wants to try to attack your Wi-Fi router. And if it does, then it will persistently attempt to infect you after changing the settings on the router. So this is really cool because, again, like it doesn't rely on the actual Android device to propagate. It relies on infecting these routers. Yeah, are, are frankly, a really cool way of making a campaign that usually lives on mobile devices instead kind of target routers.